In this stakeout video, we are going to look at configuring our stakeout options. The Confirm Stake Delta screen is displayed before storing a staked point. You can configure this form under Options. The View Before Storage checkbox controls whether or not the Confirm Stake Deltas screen is displayed. The Stake Deltas format defines the deltas displayed on the Confirm Stake Deltas screen. There is a selection of predefined formats for different applications. You can also create your own configuration. The Trimble Access Help has details on how to do this. You can use the horizontal tolerance to only display the Confirm Stake Delta screen when the point is out of tolerance. Here, we are measuring a point which is out of our horizontal tolerance, so the Confirm Stake Deltas page is displayed. The default Confirm Stake Delta screen displays details of your stake point, your design point, and the delta north, delta east, and vertical distance. Now I'm restaking this point. Because I'm now within tolerance, the confirmed stake delta screen is not displayed, allowing me to stake the next point faster. Use the as stake name to configure the naming of your stake points. Here, I am setting the name of my stake points to be the design name with the prefix staked. You can also configure the code of your stake point. Deselecting the store grid deltas checkbox will display the difference between the design and as stake points as a bearing and distance rather than delta north, delta east. Before I measure, I'm going to change the horizontal tolerance back to zero to force the confirmed stake delta screen to be displayed. On the screen, you can now see the name of the code as we defined in options, and the stake deltas are displayed as a bearing in distance. There are a few tips to speeding up your stakeout workflow. If you are using GNSS, tick the Auto Measure checkbox. This will start the GNSS measurement when you tap Measure, rather than just taking you to the Measure Points form. In the Stakeout Point form that appears when your GNSS receiver is measuring, tap Options and turn on Auto Store Point. This will automatically store the point once the required number of epochs have passed. You can see when we stake this last point, you just have to tap measure once and the point is measured and stored. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful and I look forward to seeing you on another video.